fellow shoe and boot aficionados. Today, I am featuring a pair of boots that really captured my attention over the past several weeks that I've had them. This is a pair of boots from one of the more prolific Indonesian bootmakers, Benzian Shoes. So let's talk a little bit about Benzian. It's Ashwin, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about my favorite region in the world of Indonesian bootmaking and one of my more impressive, um, I guess one of the more impressive uh, bootmakers coming out of Indonesia, um, in this case from Jakarta, Indonesia, and that is Benzian Shoes. So let's talk a little bit about Benzian while I hold this boot up for your appreciation. This, just so you know, is their um, seventh boot. The boot um, is, the seventh is designated for their whole cut Chelsea boot. And that boot is um, in their lineup, which is fairly broad. They have a number of different designs of boots that they uh, make, including uh, lace to toe boots. Uh, that's called the burner, which I've had in the past. They make an engineer boot. They make a very popular uh, service boot known as the Canon, but that's K-A-N-O-N. -N. But the seventh boot is probably their most well-executed style. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, they make a wide range of shoes and a wide range of leathers, and they kind of have two primary lasts, the Kujang last, which is a more sleek last, as well as their Borneo last which is the last that this boot is built off of, which is a more boot-like kind of broader, uh, more rounded um, last, probably suited to more workwear style boots. So um, depending on what you're looking for, sleekness factor, you would probably want to go with their Kujang last, but this boot is built on the Borneo last, which is a little bit more rugged. Um, and I plan to use these more for outdoor activities, such as hiking, when I don't want to have to deal with laces and whatnot. So let's talk a little bit about Benzian. I'm going to put the other boot here together so you can kind of see the boots as a pair while I talk a little bit more about Benzian as a brand. And there you go. So let's talk a little bit about Benzian as a brand. So, you know, I'll rotate here and you guys will get a sense for what's going on and we'll kind of dive into the shoe a little bit more. So Benzian, um, was formed in 2018 by um, a gentleman named Adi. Um, I don't know if Adi's name, last name is widely available, but Adi is the lead uh, person behind Benzian, comes from a shoemaking family. And I would say that Benzian is typically considered among the top quartile of Indonesian bootmakers. And that includes individuals like Anderhood, Renov Goods, um, Professor Barnett's, uh, Winston Shoemaker, who's actually more um, in the dress shoe realm, Midas Bootmaker, uh, Imperium Hidalgo, and of course my recent favorite Monroe Heritage, um, Imperium ID Footwear, um, who else, Tahura Boot Company, there's a wide range, but Benzian has definitely been executing excellent patterns for some time now. Um, as I mentioned, this, their seventh, the seventh Chelsea boot, is a hole cut boot. So let's talk about a hole cut Chelsea boot. So you can see there is essentially one seam in this entire boot that's in the back right here. Many Chelsea boots have this back seam as well as another side seam right about here. But as you can see, as I kind of pan around this boot, there is no other seam other than the seam in the back. This particular boot was made out of a rough out of a natural chromic cell leather. So this is a Horween leather. And that gives me a chance to talk a little bit about some of the leathers that Benzian uses. So Benzian uses Horween leathers. They use leathers pretty typically from the Merriam Tannery in Italy. They um, source leathers out of Shinki Hikaku in Japan, um, the Conseria Chloe also in Italy. Uh, the Badalassi leather um, distributor also out of Italy. So a lot of international boot makers, uh, CF Stead as well out of the UK. Um, and as I mentioned, Horween, which is with this particular leather, this is a rough out of their Horween natural leather. So you can see the sort of natural finish. This is a 
therefore a reverse leather, meaning that it isn't split like a suede. This is really the rough outside of the Horween natural Chrome XL. So it should have very similar properties to Chrome XL in terms of how it would crease or ramp, or, you know, and I've worn this particular boot a number of times. You see very little creasing, maybe a little bit of roll forming here where the vamp would be. Um, and um, they, this particular boot uses uh, double row stitch down construction. Um, actually, that's probably not fair to say double row stitch down. This is Veltschoen double row construction. You can see the double row goes essentially halfway around the shoe with then a single row extending to the 270 degree mark. So this is typically called uh, 270 degree Veltschoen construction. And you can see here that the stitching is rather precise. I did measure this before the review and each row is at about stitch six uh, stitches per inch, which when you compare it to other makers, including Viberg, is highly respectable and comparable. Uh, most stitch down or Veltschoen constructions have a lower stitch density than that. Um, so I would commend uh, Benzine for doing a really good job. Um, so double row stitch down construction has a block heel. They have the option of give, in making boots with Cuban heels or a Woodsman heel. The Cuban heel is, has a more extreme curve, whereas Woodsman has more of a tapered curve. This has a double leather sole and a doctor sole, raw cord half sole. You can see the doctor sole super grip um, right there. Sorry, this is their super grip half sole and uh, natural edge finishing here. So really clean design. I thought that went really well together. Um, and anyways, um, that is the boot. If we go into the details a little bit more, you can see the upper, the stitching on the upper right there is very clean. Just gonna take you through that so you can see that. They use a nice elastic for um, the sides paneling. And again, here's the stitching on the back. Also very clean. It's not perfect, but darn, it's pretty clean. Pretty good. And there's the stitching on the upper. You can see wrapping around pretty consistent. Maybe a few little errors in spacing right there. Cleaner on that side. And if I take you through the Veltschuen construction here, let's start at the top. There you go, pretty clean on this particular pair. You really see very few errors in how they've assembled this. So very, very clean construction. One of the things I will say Benzian does is they execute this Chelsea pattern the best that I've seen be executed, maybe even better than Viberg at a much more affordable price. So let's talk a little bit about pricing and how you would order this boot. Um, while I do that, I'll put up the second boot so you guys can see these and I will stick my head to the side so you can kind of see. Um, so ordering typically happens through um, Instagram where you would send a direct message or a DM via Instagram to the Benzene Shoes um, website or their, their Instagram handle. Um, they can also take orders through uh, WhatsApp as well. Um, once a boot is ordered, you place a 50% deposit Typically, uh, deposits range from around 100 bucks to several hundred bucks as the shoes cost between 190 and upwards of $700, depending on which material you use. So typically, local leathers uh, will cost you in the neighborhood 190, whereas uh, imported leathers will cost upwards of 400 and shell Corvin goes into the 700s. So you choose your leather. You choose your construction, which is typically either the Veltschuen construction as here or a Goodyear flat welt, which is typically executed all the way around the shoes and a single row. So that would look like a single row stitch going 360 degrees around the shoe. Um, and then when you decide to submit that order, you pay about 50% up front. It takes about three to four months for the shoes to arrive and they typically arrive via DHL over the course of about a week. Everything's easily trackable. Um, everything works really well. And um, as I said, this is just a very elegant yet rugged last that I like. Sizing, I think is fairly accurate. I would say that sizing on Benzians is a little bit larger than other Indonesian bootmakers and bootmakers in general. So for example, I'm a Branek 10. And um, in my initial pair of Benzines, I'd gone with a 
43 in their um, Kujung last. And I found that to be a pretty good fit, but in their Borneo last, that seemed a little bit spacey. So I went down to a 42 and this is the outcome, really nice and it fits me perfect. I like a snug fit. So if you like a more loose fit, then maybe going up a size um, and accommodating socks. But this to me with a thick pair of socks um, or even a standard pair of socks uh, will work well. Again, there's the edge finishing here so you can see how clean and effectively that's done. There are people who put more of a shine like Professor Barnett's on their heel, make it a little bit more dramatic. But I think for the style of boot, this is very, very well executed, very clean. And if I were going for a pair of rugged Chelsea's in today's market, this would be the pair that I would choose. Now, would I choose some of their other styles? I think their Canon boot, um, which is their service boot, is also a worthy consideration if you're looking for a very clean, elegant design. Some of their other designs look fantastic, but I haven't actually tried them. I though did try their burner boot, um, and it's a beautiful boot. Uh, we're very unique, well-executed uh, boot that I had made in a um, Badalasi leather that took about four months to arrive, but I was a little bit disappointed by the stitching. Um, if you go to my Instagram, you can see photos of the stitching, which was not as consistent as this. There's now more leather elements that go into making the welt, so some of the joints and transitions where that happened were a little less clean, but in this boot, clean as can be. So um, I don't think I could expect any better from anybody paying a lot more than I sort of got for these shoes. So again, really, really clean. This is the Borneo last. This is their the seventh Chelsea boot out of Benzian shoes. So check them out on Instagram. And I hope you got enough information about the brand coming out of Jakarta, Indonesia, has been around for three to four years now since 2018 and produced boots using imported and local leathers ranging in price from 190 to upwards of $700, depending on what leather you choose and a production time of three to four months using a couple different options, a sleeker last and a more robust last, the sleeker last being the Kujang last and the robust last being the Borneo last, which is more of a work boot last. They may have other lasts, but those are the two that I'm most familiar with. And overall, fantastic work. I would highly recommend the Chelsea's. Um, everything else, standard, lots of competition out there. So if you're looking for a pair of Chelsea's, go with these guys. And hope you're doing well. Take care, okay? Bye.